it's Rebecca Louise and welcome to your workout today. We are going to be doing a very fun summer shred glutes and quads workout. Oh yes, we're going to, okay, we're going to use some weights today and we're going to start off. I've got five pounds here, but I highly suggest that you use something that is going to be challenging for you. We're going to take it into a split stance goblet squat. So you're going to take those legs uh, about a foot apart and we're going to take it down into a squat. Now push down into that front heel and squeeze those glutes. You've got both weights right here, either just using one weight, use two, but use something that is going to push you just a little bit today. If there's a weight that you haven't tested yet, why not just pick it up and give it a go? Because throughout this workout, we are going to push ourselves to getting great results. And it's all about you versus you. Nobody else is in this competition. It is just, are you getting a little bit better than you were yesterday? That's all it is. That is how we keep on improving. Your story is nothing compared to anybody else's story. What you have done and achieved is yours. Do not rewrite your story as someone else's. All right, take it over to the other side. I want you to get those legs nice and wide. Now bring up that back heel. Bring those weights together. You're also gonna get a nice little upper tone as well here. Now we're gonna sink down as if you're gonna do a squat and then up. Make sure that this knee does not come in. When you think about pushing that knee out to the side and then tucking those hips underneath. Lifting up through your chest, press down into that ground and squeeze those glutes. All right, you got this. You showed up today because you wanted to sweat, because you wanted to get a workout on, because you wanted to increase your energy, because you wanted to get a perky booty. So guess what? It's exactly what we are going to do today. All right, here we go, all the way up. Squeeze those glutes, push the knee out to the side, down into that front supporting leg. Feel the glutes working, feel those quads on fire. You have got 10 seconds left on this side. Let's keep it going. Push down into the ground, tuck those hips underneath. Smile with every single rep that you are doing right now. You are getting better, you are getting stronger. Here we go, and squeeze. All right, my favorite exercise. We're gonna do a split RDL. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up that left leg, and we're gonna take it down halfway and then all the way back up and squeeze those glutes. Drop those shoulders down, engage the lats, and here we go. All right, so as you can see, my front leg is straight and I'm pushing down in that supporting heel and squeezing up through the top. Now this one, I'm probably gonna use, I can even put like 15 or 20 pounds in my arms, but if we, I'm just demonstrating for you right here. So <laughs> I'm gonna keep going with these five pounds right here, but whatever makes you feel that burn all the way through the back of your leg. Tuck those hips underneath and slow controlled, push down to the ground and then tuck underneath. We got this everybody. All right, 10 seconds left. Oh, I just love that stretch. I love that stretch all through the back of my hamstrings. Here we go. Squeeze those glutes. Give me one more and release. All right, same thing on the other side. You've done it once, you know how to do it. So let's keep that right leg slightly bent. So bringing up on your heel, onto your toe, and then we're gonna have that left leg nice and straight. And here we go, we take it down and then squeeze. All right, three, two, one, let's go. Now push down on that supporting leg, tucking those hips underneath, and just knowing that you are here for a reason today. You chose to do this workout, you chose to show up for yourself, and most importantly, you are gonna get the results. You're gonna get the results. When you keep on showing up, you will get there. You will discover that you can keep on fighting for what you want and it will happen. Consistency is key. All right, here we go. We got 15 seconds on the clock. Keep pushing forward. Now stick that booty back for me, lifting up through the chest, pushing those hips forward and breathe through it because you have just got five seconds left. Give me one more clean one and then squeeze. Nice work. All right, we're gonna take it into a fun little swing over the top of our head. So here we go. You take it down here, and then you swing again, and you're up right here, just straight in front of your face. So we take it down, you hold, and then you swing, and then you squeeze those glutes and push those arms straight forward. Here we go. So one and two, that's it. Keep that rhythm right here. We have one, breathe, push down into those heels, Scoot those hips underneath. Drop those shoulders down, lifting all the way up through your chest. Come on, here we go. You've got this, and squeeze. So just think about pushing that booty back, stay nice and low, and then tuck those hips under there and squeeze those glutes as you stand up right here. Hold for that split second at the top, and here we go. Come on, you've got this. Now push those knees out to the side. Press it into those heels. Smile, you got this. Come on, keep on going. You've got 10 seconds left. 
and we're gonna start this whole thing from the beginning. But squeeze those glutes, give me one more, make it solid, hold at the top, and gently release. All right, we're gonna take it back to that very first exercise. Whoo, that split goblet squat. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna bring that left leg forward. We're gonna bring those hands together. We're gonna take it nice and wide into that squat and then tuck those hips underneath. Are you ready? Here we go. In three, in two, in one, let's go. That knee out to the side and then think about just pushing into that front heel as you come to that standing position. You wanna make the most out of every single rep that you have. So push the knee out to the side and then tuck the hip underneath. Try and keep both of your hips facing towards me and then push down into that supporting front leg. Feel that hamstring working and then squeeze those glutes together. That's it, so good everybody. Breathe through it. Drop those shoulders down, lifting up through the chest. Less than 10 seconds to go. You've got this. Your quads should be on fire. Your right quad, the leg that is bent, should be burning. Give me one more and release. All right, nice work everybody. Take it straight over to the other side. Everyone take a breath in. Everybody take an exhale out. Get that left leg, bring it up onto the ball of your foot. Grab those weights nice and strong. Here we go, in three, two, one, let's go. So down and then tuck those hips underneath. Here we go, really press into that supporting heel. I know that every exercise that we do right here, it is just 45 seconds. So you can do anything for 45 seconds, right? How do you build self-courage on how you look? You become appreciative of what you do have. So often we go, oh, I can't do this. And the reason that I'm not successful is because I've had more setbacks than other people. And you know, people don't understand what I've been through. We've all been through stuff, but we have a choice. We decide to be grateful for what we do have and have the courage to look at ourselves with awe, with excitement, with gratitude. Give me one more and squeeze. All right, back to my favorite exercise. It's becoming your favorite exercise as well, right? Okay, here we go. We're gonna take it into those split stance RDLs. So your left leg is gonna be slightly bent. Bring up into the ball, we come down and then squeeze. Now, if you're not feeling this, you gotta increase the weight. Really think about pushing down on that supporting heel and then tucking those hips in me as you come all the way through. Drop those shoulders, smile, and just know that you are gonna get there. I know it sometimes feels like, oh my goodness, like I've been working so hard. I feel like I've been eating healthy. I've been doing the workouts and nothing is changing. we are just gonna stay consistent. You gotta keep on going because you're not just exercising and eating clean for, you know, to look good. You're doing it for your own health as well. So make that the priority rather than focusing on getting the six pack, getting the perky butt. Do it because it is good for you. All right, take it over to the other side. We're gonna bend up that right leg so that left leg is nice and straight. Just take a look at that for me. Let's just do one practice one. That's it, now sink the booty back and then lift up. We're really think about hinging at the hips. If you need to get in front of a mirror, just to double check your posture, double check how you look. That's it, squeeze those glutes. Really think about lean back in that booty. Then the chest comes up and you push down into that supporting heel. So feel that stretch all through your hamstring. Now just depending on how flexible that you are, you might be able to come down a little bit more. But make sure that your arms don't drop like this. We wanna hold those lats nice and tight. That's it, you got it. All the way down. Now tuck those hips underneath. You got this. Come on, breathe through it. Couple more. Let's make these ones count. Stick that booty back, engage those lats. Now give me one more all the way down and then press down into that ground and squeeze. All right, pop one of your weights down. We're gonna take it into that fun little swing. So bring your legs nice and wide. We're gonna take it into that first swing and then take it up to that center mark. All right, here we go. In three, in two, in one, here we go. So halfway up and then squeeze those glutes. I'm going to give you a little slight second hold at the top. So push down into the ground, drop those shoulders down, toes are up, and all of that weight is in the heels. To make it a little bit more challenging for yourself, you wanna lift up those toes. That's it, press down into the ground, and here we go. Woo, looking good everybody, over halfway. Last little part that you have to do for this round, and then the rest of the workout is woo, where we get serious with those results. 
All right, drop those shoulders down, tuck those hips underneath. You've got 10 seconds right here. Make these ones your best ones yet. Can you get even lower down? And give me one more. Make it strong, make it count, and squeeze, hold, and gently release. All right, pop that weight down to the ground. You did amazing today. Remember, you can always add in our resistance band. You can add in our ankle weights. It's gonna make it a little bit harder. If you wanna make it easier, just take off the weight and do the modifications that we have for you. You guys crushed it today. Amazing. Now, you wanna